everyone. I'm going to be creating some really cute um, candy holders or candle holders with the little spider stand and glass bowls that I got at Dollar Tree. And the first thing I did was soak this in hot water and then I used gently used a um, knife to take it off. Because what I decided to do is I wanted to have a bigger bowl that would go on there so that I could either put candy or a candle in here. And then I just simply bent these to open them up a little bit so that it would accommodate the larger bowl. Now when you're buying these in the store, look at the sides of, of it and make sure that you're, you don't see a lot of glue coming out. Um, I must say I have two of these and the one that did not have a lot of glue was really easy to just pry off. It popped right off. But the one with a lot of glue really took a lot of effort. But I'm not sure what kind of glue they used to secure it, but I suspect um, it does loosen with the heat of the hot water. I could have tried using my heat gun to loosen it, but I was afraid I would crack the glass. So that's why I put it in hot water. Now they have two different size bowls at Dollar Tree. This is the smaller of the two. So I have washed, I've washed the bowl with hot soapy water and then I came in with rubbing alcohol to take all my um, oils from my hands off. And the first application that I'm going to be putting on is the Deco Art Gloss Enamels. I have a dry brush. It's a very old brush. And I'm simply going to stroke this on. I'll go right up to the edge and bring it down. And I try not to have any um, ridges in here. Now if I was not going to be using this for food, I could paint the inside and allow the shiny part of the glass, the glass to show, but I am going to be putting some glitter on this, so I'm going to be adding back sparkle. I'm going to take my hair dryer and I'm going to dry this and I'll be back. So now I bought two of these witch hats since I'm making two projects. And the first thing I did was take off the tag. But I also gently removed the little bowl. And then I will take off the headband by gently lifting the felt that's on here. Now remember that this cute little hat is put together and sold for a dollar so the felt is not as good as like a sheet of felt that you would buy in a in your craft store so be careful when you take this off that you don't rip the underneath um, so that you don't rip the hat brim I do want to lay this back down and that's why I'm trying to just gently take it off. I'm only going to take half of it off. And then I can easily remove this little headband and set that to the side for another craft. Almost all of the hats I saw were really um, squished. So I'm going to stuff the top of the head with some paper towel. You can use tissue paper or some extra fabric, but paper towel is what I had in my craft table and that will be fine. I stick my finger up into it and try to twist it so that it's almost going to look like it's a cone shape so that I can fit it right into that hat because that's the area that always collapses. And I can feel that it's pretty much almost to the tip. And then I'll just shove the rest in there. And for now, I'm going to just fold that over. On the first one I did, I tried just pulling this off. And I felt as though I was going to rip the hat brim. I'm going to cut the tool off and be very careful with this. What I'm doing is I'm pulling up 
so that I'm not cutting the fabric underneath. So I have one spot that's a little bit raised up. I'm going to cut that a little bit more. Then I have some of the diamond wrap and I'm going to take and measure how far around this goes approximately. And I'm going to cut now you can buy this in where it's got two or three um, diamonds for a width. I like the the five because then I can always cut whatever width I want. So I'm going to cut it down so it only has two. My paint has dried on here, so now I'm going to apply a second coat. And this time I'm going in a horizontal position with my brush. I find that this helps eliminate a lot of the ability to see through and see streakiness. Since this is glass, a lot of times you can see the streaking through your painting onto it. And so it, it helps to first go vertically, vertically, and now I'm going horizontally around the bowl. And I'll do the same thing to the second bowl. So now I'm going to take and put some tacky glue going all the way around. And then I will spot glue, I will use hot glue to spot glue it into place. So I'm going to wrap this around on top of the tacky glue. And then I'll just put a little bit of the hot glue to secure it into position. So now I've let the glass cure for four days and I heat set it in the oven according to the manufacturer's directions and I've let it cool. And I'm going to come back over and I have some um, glamour dust in black ice. And I love, love, love these glitter paints because they don't get all over your house like plain glitter does. And I'm going to just go over this and give it the bowl some sparkle. And I'm using a fairly generous coat. I go horizontally and then vertically. So now that's dry, I hope you can see how sparkly that is. Uh, the Glamour Dust is an ultra fine glitter and it's just, and what's really nice is it's in the paint so it's not going to come off on your hands at all or be all over your house. I love that. So I decided that since this um, bowl is so big that the legs were just a little bit skinny and they needed to appear fatter. So I'm going to take some of the um, chenille wires from Dollar Tree, the black. And what I like about them is that they have sparkle in them. And I'm going to use two per leg and I'm simply going to wrap them around and make the legs have a little bit more substance. And I just, as I wrap them, I have my finger pull it down. And you can see it's just making it have a fuzzy leg and I love it. And when I start the second one, I'll just do it in the same manner where I just slip it around. Then I make sure that that's tucked under so it doesn't have any sharp edges. And then I just keep lipping it around until the entire leg is covered. And it, each leg takes two wires. See, that one just looks so much cuter and fatter and more spidery than the, just the plain wires. Then I make sure that where I began is tucked underneath. So again, that there's no sharp, sharp wires. And then I'm going to just repeat all the legs. So now my legs are looking like they're really fuzzy. I love it. So what I'm going to do is take my bowl 
and I just put a little bit of plastic tack on the bottom. Because I I could glue this in, but I really love the way this turned out. And I think I'm going to be able to use this um, in other ways during the rest of the year. So I'm going to just apply it with plastic tack. And then I can either put candies or a candle in there. So you can see that it's really um, snug on there and it's not going to go anywhere with the plastic tack. And then all I have to do is put the hat on because that also is not going to go anywhere. It just sits on top. This looks so cute on my counter, paired with the candlesticks that I made with the Halloween table decor video. I just love the way these turned out. And I love that I found the placemats from Dollar Tree with the silver in them. And I just got two of them. And when I paired that with the lanterns that I made in my previous video, this just really came together. So I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And also, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel because that way you will get notifications of when I do new videos. So